I'm going to jump right into this nail design using a bobby pin and a light brown nail polish. I'm going to use this color to recreate the Airbender Children's Unique hairstyles on my nails. For Janora, I'm going to start by creating an oval shape on the end of my nail. Then start to fill in the oval to create her side part. I wish I knew a better way to explain how to do this, but really I just used a reference picture and worked from there. Then add a little line sweeping to one side from where her part would be to create that little strand of hair that falls across her forehead. Next, create a medium sized dot off to one side of the oval to create Nora's bun. Moving on to Icky, I'm going to start by creating another oval-like shape at the end of my nail. This one will be a little flatter than the one for Janora. After you make the initial line, make it a little thicker to make the base of her hairstyle. Then make a small triangle in the center of that oval shape you've created with two smaller triangles on either side to create her bangs. Then make two lines near the sides of your nails, leaving a little space on the outsides to create the strands of hair that hang on either side of Icky's face. Moving on to Milo, I'm going to use the brown nail polish to create the sort of squarish shape of his head since he really doesn't have any hair. Then I'll fill it in to create his hairline. It kind of dips down in the center and then tapers off to the sides. Now I'm going to use my bobby pin and lure from Wet n Wild to fill in the area underneath the brown nail polish. Any tan or skin colored polish you have will do.
Next, I'm going to go back and add in on the little details. For Janora, I'm going to use OPI's Rising Star to create the little gold band at the base of her bun. Then, using the same color, I'm going to create two dots on either side of Icky's hairstyle to create her buns. Then, using a dark red, I'm going to create the bands at the base of her buns. Then for Milo, I'm going to go back to that brown color and use my bobby pin to add in his eyebrows since they're his most distinguishing feature. Make sure they're a little wider at the start than they are at the ends. Next, I'm going to paint my thumb and pinky with a coat of gold nail polish. Then, using a dark red, I'm going to start by painting the tips of my thumb and pinky. I'm using Bogota Blackberry from OPI. Then, using that same color in my bobby pin, I'm going to draw a line across the nails, just above the tip I just painted. Make sure to leave a little space in between the two. Then I'm going to start by drawing a small triangle in the center of the upper part of my nail. Then draw two lines from the bottom of that triangle to the sides of my nail. Then fill in the space above that line. These nails are supposed to look like the air acolyte clothes in the children wear.
And there you go. Now you can have Denora, Icky, and Milo at your fingertips.